It is my great pleasure for having been invited to talk about my project. My name is Marco Tieno and I'm based at the University of Würzburg in the state of Bavaria. My topic is factors driving legume pollination in Lower Franconia, Germany. Legume crops nourish the diets of millions of people. Perhaps most of you know about soybean and dry beans, which are the most commonly cultivated legumes. The others are field beans, pigeon pea, cow pea, peanut, and forage crops such as alfalfa, clover, and veggies. Legumes are regarded as ecological crops because they provide nitrogen to the soils, they reduce overall energy use, they lower global warming, they reduce ozone levels, and lessen acidification. Recent consumption trends indicate increasing demand for legumes, which is projected to cause severe shortfalls. Most legumes, for example field beans and pigeon pea, depend on insect pollinators, but these beneficial insects are under threats from human-induced factors. The global annual value of insect pollination pulse crops, a subset of legumes, is estimated to be about 1 billion euros per year. Both the composition and configuration of the landscape surrounding farms are key factors driving abundance and diversity of wild pollinators. The area surrounding a farm, whether natural or semi-natural, comprise of landscape elements that may provide essential habitat for wild pollinators by offering much needed floral resources and nesting sites that contribute to their long-term persistence. Some of the agricultural landscapes in Germany protect beneficial arthropods from severities of homogenization largely because of agri-environmental schemes, but there are still a few extreme cases such as this one in photograph number four. Similarly, the management practices used on a farm are key factors driving the abundance and diversity of wild pollinators. For example, pesticide and fertilizer application, tillage and other cultural practices affect pollinator communities and pollination services. Increasing agricultural intensification has been linked to homogenization of habitats both at local and landscape scales and is claimed to be an important environmental driver responsible for the declines of both pollinators and their services. In Germany, the expanding legume production along with the increasing demand for more effective and efficient pollinators in addition to honeybees all underscore the need for effective and sustainable strategies to diversify pollination for these crops. With declining pollinator options, the dependence of crops on honeybees creates significant financial and food security concerns. And so by focusing on field beans, an economically important crop grown in Lower Franconia, Germany, my project addresses some of these concerns by exploring the following critical objectives. Number one is determine the contributions of economically important pollinators to field beans. Number two is identify farm management and landscape elements that support native bees. Third is evaluate the economic contribution of native pollinators to field beans crop production. In order to address objective one, I'll gather data through timed visual counts at crop flowers and field experiments on the following parameters. The first is visitation rates. The second is pollen deposition done through greenhouse experiments. The third is fruit set and quality parameters also done through greenhouse experiments. This will enable us to understand the magnitude of native bee pollination to legume crops and generate information to guide farmers in adopting sustainable pollination strategies. The second objective will be achieved by analyzing how on farm management practices and broader landscape elements influence the abundance and distribution of native bees and the delivery of crop pollination. I will gather data on farm management practices such as tillage methods and uh, general husbandry tactics, then map of uh, feral and managed bees complementing native bees, then insecticide program risk by examining pesticide application records, then uh, crop bloom vegetation, abundance and diversity using line intercept methods. This information is important for understanding pollinator networks. And finally, number five, characterize landscape composition and configuration around each sample field, both through hand digitization up to 300 meters and using core in land use and land cover course maps up to two kilometers radius using GIS techniques to provide information on the impacts of wider landscape on bee fauna. The third and last objective will be achieved using existing data or new data from objective one on the amount of pollen deposited 
on flowers per visit by different key bee species and the amount needed to set marketable fruit. I will collect data on first is economic value of each type of bee's contribution to pollination. The second is proportion of required pollination delivered by each pollinator. The third is regional and national value of pollination by bees for field beans crop. This data will feed into calculations of the overall contribution to pollination by each type of bee. Their contributions will be valued at the species level when possible and at broader taxonomic groups when necessary or meaningful. The following outputs are envisaged at the end of this study. Number one is a concise fact sheet on the field beans pollinators of Wurzburg, Germany. Number two is important insight into the bee fauna of economic importance to field beans crop agriculture. Number three is identity of bee species. Number four is identification of management tactics with potential for increasing pollination. And the outcomes are increased awareness of the economic contributions of native bees to field beans farms, reduced risks to bees by increasing the use of less lethal pest and farm management approaches, and finally available information useful for making local and regional policy decisions. With the predicted variations in legume production under changing agricultural landscapes driven by human induced factors in climate change, it is important to develop strategies that will achieve better insect derived ecosystem services and secure legume food base. I am greatly indebted to the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation for providing funding for this work, to the University of Würzburg through Professor Ingolf for being hosts for this project, the Bavarian State Institute for Agriculture and other state agents. These are potential collaborators for disseminating research findings. And finally, to the collaborating farmers for allowing access to their fields and farm records. Thank you very much for your time.